Fala La Lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well today. I myself am quite happy considering that it is the weekend. We do love a weekend around here. Today, as you would know from the title, I have a bit of a Kmart haul for you guys. I did a click and collect order yesterday that I picked up in my lunch break. So I have a nice big box of goodies sitting on the floor. And I'm very, very excited to share it with you guys. It feels like a hot minute since I've done a proper Kmart haul on my channel. Obviously, I did a bit of a haul the other day where I bought a bunch of Christmas stuff, but that wasn't just Kmart. This is the real deal. All Kmart, everything Kmart, nothing else. As you can see, everything is still in the box. I have not opened anything. Honestly, I can not remember half of what is in here because I got a lot of stuff. And also, I didn't get a lot of stuff because I got an email after I placed my order being like, sorry, we can find this, 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 this. So, like, $45 worth of stuff isn't in here. Can you imagine how big the box would be if it were? <laughs> this box does have a nice big fragile sticker across the top of it today, so there are some breakable items in here. What they are, you'll just have to stick around and see. Now, before I open up this one, I do have a couple of items out of the box because, you know, while I was picking this up, I saw a couple of other things and I was like, looks like I'm grabbing those too. <laughs> so I will start with those. Let's get going. Okay, guys, item number uno. A diary. As we all know, 2022 is getting scarily closer, so that calls for a brand new diary. Uh, as you can see by the listing, this one was really nice and cheap, and also, how freaking cute is it? Just some little plants on the front, your 2022 with some gold foiling in the middle. Love some gold foiling. Um, also, I really like the structure of this one. The diary that I had for 2021, it did not have little tabs like this saying the month on the side. So I'm really happy with that. A lot easier to flick through and kind of find what you want. These are kind of what the weeks look like. So it's kind of half a week per page. Got Monday through to Wednesday here, and then you got Thursday, Friday, and your weekend days there. So it has pretty much the same structure as the diary that I had last year, except I like the tabs. And I like the fact that it is like probably $11 cheaper than the one that I got last year. And I think it's even cuter. So big win. Very happy with that. Okay, guys. Item numero dos. And the only other item that I got that was not click and collect is a bunch of coffee syrup. We have six different flavors here, which I am so excited to try. The only one that probably does not appeal to me is the peppermint one. But otherwise, we have caramel, hazelnut, Irish cream, vanilla, and arametto. So I am very, very excited to try these. I'm honestly thinking about putting them in milkshakes. I will, however, be keeping the hazelnut one well and truly away from Brayden because I don't really wish to poison my boyfriend. Kind of like him, kind of want to keep him around, you know. I do, however, actually really, really like hazelnut, so I find it really hard that Brayden is allergic to nuts. Out of all the nuts, I think that's the one that I struggle with the most, probably because, you know, it means that Nutella's out, Ferrero Shares, Gillian Chocolates, I think that's how you pronounce it. I've never been able to figure it out, but they are my favourites. Marble Chocolate by Cadbury, like, they're all so delicious, and I just want to share them with him and be like, just, it's so yummy. So if he, you know, ever decides that he wants to have a trip to the emergency room, I'm going to be like, make sure you try the hazelnut jacket. <laughs> but anyway, getting off track, these six syrups are 45 mils each. They actually have quite a bit of weight to them, so they feel really nice and quite bougie. Very excited to try them out. They would also make a fantastic Christmas gift. However, these ones are definitely staying with me. I'm not going to be sharing. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now for the really exciting part, which is actually getting into this box. I did not bring any scissors or knives or anything like that in here with me to open this, so I guess I'm just going to kind of like hack into it. I think I should be fine. The tape seems to be coming off pretty well so far. Oh, didn't know about that bit. Just mutilating the box, no worries. That's one way to get tape off, right? Okay, I'll give you guys a very special quick sneak peek into the box and then we're going to go through it. Bang. That's all we get. Okay guys, we're going to start with the first item that I saw inside the box. Some ribbon. You can't go wrong with some ribbon. Yes, I do realise that these are not your traditional festive colours, but believe it or not, that is not the point. I realise that it is Christmas time and it's kind of weird to buy your normal ribbon at Christmas time, but I wanted ribbon for birthdays throughout the year. I can't tell you how many times I just like reuse my Christmas ribbon when it comes to wrapping people's birthday presents because I always, always forget to buy different colours. Now, however, I can say that I have a nice variety. So we have some blue, pink, purple, and then a lighter blue. Not gonna lie, I actually think my 
my favorite color out of these is the lighter blue so it's kind of a shame that I only have one of those and two of the pink and dark blue but you know what not mad anyway each of the individual ribbons is 10 meters long so I'm very happy to finally have stocked up on these because I can't tell you the amount of times that I forget to anyway it's ribbon it's not that exciting you guys have seen it a million times let's go on to the next one okay this next item guys I am so excited for because I've wanted one of these little guys for ages let's just show you let's show you it's a little gnome and he's so cute <laughs> I don't know what it is about the little gnomes with the hats where all that is poking out is their nose like I just think they're adorable I've wanted one for ages so I'm so excited to like sit this like I think on our TV cabinet I'll put it on but yeah I love the little dingly dangly legs they're very cute his beard does need a little bit of fluffing up I think after being inside a box but I think he's adorable He's just, he's so festive and beautiful, and it was only $8. I think he's totally worth it. Also, he's got quite a bit of weight to him, so he's not going to fall off of, like, any cabinet that you put him on. And you can probably use him as a doorstop as well. So, very versatile and very cute. I am going to put him right here so he can hang out while we're filming. Oh. Is everything I ever wanted him to be. Leave comments down below as to what I should name my little gnome friend. I currently don't have any ideas and I am open to anything, so let me know. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. This next item is a very handy one, which I am very happy to have. As you guys probably would have seen in my Christmas decorating one, I do not have any kind of amazing storage for bobbles such as this. Brayden and I have just been keeping them in the tubes that they come in, but the lids tend to come off of those, so I did want something that would store them more securely. I am gonna open this up for you guys so we can have a proper look at it together. Looks good. Okay. Ooh, hello. Ah, okay, so you have bits of cardboard that you can crisscross together. There's quite a few here, which is good. Put those down for now. Okay. Ooh. Ah, this is very clever. So there's just like a lot of zips that kind of form it together. Let's do up this first one. There we go. Ta-da! Here's a little picture. Not that you guys need to see because I've already put this thing on the screen for you. But yeah, so you can just make your own little crisscrossy shoe pigs and stack your bubbles in there, which I think is super handy because you need good storage for your bubbles so you don't ruin them. And I love my bubbles, so I don't want to ruin them. <laughs> Only thing I would say that I'm not 100% impressed with probably is the fact that these are made out of cardboard. I probably would have preferred if they were made out of something else to be a bit more durable, but I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm sure they'll hold up. I really don't think I'll have any issues, so happy. Okay, now on to what makes this box marked fragile. That is some bowls. I don't know about you guys, but I have seen these in Kmart many a time. I think they are really nice and pretty. I like the blue glaze on them. Basically, I got these bowls because I wanted flat bowls to have salad in. Brayden and I do have like some more round deep bowls, but we don't have any more flat ones. I want to have salad, I want to have pasta. I guess I just wanted some more open bowls so I can kind of move my food around and see it a bit better, but mostly I did want these for salad. But yeah, I'm really happy with them. I think they look as good as they did online, which is always great. And they are definitely going to fill the void in my life where I've been needing flat bowls, which is good. <laughs> Okay, this next item I'm just going to show to you guys really quickly because it is just more ribbon. It's not that exciting. However, I do really love this rose goldy kind of like champagne color that they have in there. I think that's really cute. Silver and gold. I needed more ribbon for Christmas as well as one I got earlier for birthdays throughout the year. So I picked this one up. I'm happy with it. It's what I needed. Thank you, next. Okay guys, the next item is simultaneously exciting and sad because exciting, it's tinsel. We love tinsel. Pretty, red, love it. However, I was meant to have six of these. Not six red, but two gold and two silver on top of these two. However, it was one of the items in the click and collect order that they couldn't give me for whatever reason that it have it in stock. <sighs> so sad. Anyway, at least I could get two out of the six. I will have to go and get more, obviously, because those of you who have been following my Christmas videos will know that I said, and I am following through with, making a dress out of tinsel. I am so excited to make this video. However, I'm going to need more tinsel. This ain't going to cut it. I don't know how many meters this is. I can't remember. Does it say? Six meters. Right there. 12 meters worth of tinsel just ain't going to cut it because there is a lot of me to cover. And I also want color variety. So we've got two for now. And you guys will see more later when I make that video. Okay, this next item I'm pretty sure that I'm going to return because I just ain't digging it. And that is this top. 
I thought that it looked really cute online, but I also thought that it was red and not orange, and your girl just does not feel orange, so I will still try it on for you guys, but I just, it's just a no for me, like, if it were red, yes, but I just, I don't know, I just don't really do orange. Funnily enough, the faction that I was in, or the house, whatever you call it, at your school, um, in school it was orange, it was called Kildare, so I really don't see myself wearing this or liking it. I do really like the shape of it. And I think I would have really liked it if it were red, but you know what? Can't win them all. Some things have to get returned. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, this next item is rather cute. I am pretty excited to put it together. Look at the little Christmas tree stand. It's so cute. So basically, this is just like a paper disposable stand for sweets. Um, all of your little pieces and bits and bobs come inside. And you can just have like a temporary little stand. A blue, 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 blue. I personally make lots of baked goods around Christmas time. You guys will see those videos coming up over the next few weeks. And I just thought this was a really cute, nice, festive way to display your sweet items. So I'm glad I picked that one up. It was nice and cheap and I'm looking forward to using it. And now we come to our second last item. Unfortunately, this haul would have been a lot longer if I didn't miss out on so many items. But you know what? Can't hold a grudge. Nothing you can do about it. This is what we got now. That's right, five different hot sauces. Hot sauce challenge, five pack of gourmet hot sauces. Basically, the five that we have in here include a Mexican style hot sauce, a spicy hot sauce, a garlic hot sauce, a jalapeno hot sauce, and an extreme red hot sauce. Which to me, all of these are gonna be ones that I stay away from because I am not a spicy kind of girl. Maybe in life, but not on the tongue, I'm good. Uh, these are for Brayden. I pretty much just got them because I saw them while I was doing my Kmart haul and I was like, how could I not? Like, it's not even for Christmas, I'm just gonna give it to him because, you know, why not? <laughs> I'm definitely excited to let him get these out of the package. You know what, I might actually call him in and get him to do it on camera. Let's have a look at these. Brayden! Yes. Hello. Hey, yeah. You have to open it. I didn't want to. I want to open it for the people, but I want it. I wanted to let you open it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you excited? I am. What is it? Oh, no, you tell me what it is. <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> Come down. They can't see your oh. head. Yes. According yep. to the servants. <laughs> Extreme red hot sauce. Garlic del fuego. Oh, that'd be good. Voodoo. Well, that looks really cool. Probably not. Nice glass bottles. We like that. Yeah. Oh, listen. Cute. I'm pretty keen. I bet. You're welcome. You get a gift. And it's not even a Christmas gift. <laughs> 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 You're fuzzy. I am. Um, I haven't groomed myself today. That's fine. I still love you. Thank you, you should. <laughs> Thank you for the hot sauce. You're welcome. Is... Yeah. Bye. To ooh. <laughs> I got what I wanted now. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, there you go. That's Brayden and his hot sauce. A happy man right there. Now we are on to our final item for this haul. And that is a candle. And it's not just any candle, it's a Christmas cookie fragrance candle. And I can't even tell you how excited I am to give this a sniff. I can't smell it quite at the moment, but I guess with a big nice cork lid, then you're probably not going to be able to. But let's do this. Oh my god, it's delectable. I want to live inside this candle. If you guys do get this candle, please do note that you can't extinguish your candle with this. It is a fire hazard because it is made of cork. They do leave a little warning note on there for you to say that ensure the candle is fully extinguished before placing the lid on the candle. Protective or decorative lid decorative decorative <laughs> lids should not be used to cover or extinguish a lit candle. So good that they have their little safety warning on there. I did think that obviously you wouldn't be able to extinguish a candle with a lid like this, but it does have a very cute, like authentic cookie jar kind of feel to it, which is pretty much what drew me to this candle. Also, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be as well, because obviously I bought this online. I was expecting it to be like 
maybe that tall not that tall so i am very very happy with my purchase i think it's great value for money especially considering that it definitely has quite a strong smell hopefully that translates to when oh my goodness gracious i can't speak today hopefully that translates to when it is lit as well so we will see whether or not that omits the smell around the room nicely i will let you guys know down in the comments as well as to whether or not it does i think that's a pretty good item to end on however i would just like to have a moment of silence to acknowledge the items that could not be in this haul today. Alright, now that that's done, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul today. Maybe you found some things that you'd like to gift for Christmas, maybe some handy items for yourself. Either way, I definitely enjoyed filming this video, so I hope that you enjoyed watching it too. Please do let me know down in the comments which of these items was your favourite. Personally, I'm thinking I really like the candle, I really like the diary, and I'm also super excited to try out those coffee syrups. So I can't quite pick an ultimate favourite item today, but there is definitely quite a few that I'm very happy with. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Angela. If you'd like to join me and the lovely Lada family on a more permanent basis, I don't need to tell you what to do, you guys know how YouTube works, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, then you can join my channel. Otherwise, that is all for me today guys, I'm going to wrap this up, probably going to go and try some of those coffee syrups. Each and every one of you have an absolutely wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful, marvellous, spectacular, festive day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Love that, love ya!